Guys, I am very excited right now because today we have a new toy test day. We just summoned Mephisto. I was going to call him Lucifer. We just summoned Mephisto, the Wind Demon. A couple videos ago in the video where we got the new packs. We got really lucky though. We got really lucky. Results not typical for those packs. Just saying. We got very, very lucky. New toy. And one of the reasons that I'm excited about him is because there's a few different ways I think that you can actually use him. The best place for him is against things that revive based on his passive, right? He's got that's not a passive, that's the HP leader skill. No one can be revived while you are on the battlefield. In addition, the that, by the way, that includes your team. I've seen people use him with things that revive on their team, like with Vanessa, and I'm like, wow, why did you pick that? <laughs> why, why did you do that? I don't know why they did that. Um, so that that includes both teams. No one can be revived while you're on the battlefield. In addition, to, in addition. The damage you inflict on enemies will be increased by 20% each when an enemy or ally dies. So, by the way, this is not like the same as Rocky where, like, it doesn't revive. There's, if he dies, then you can start reviving things, right? No one can be revived while you are on the battlefield. So keep in mind that stipulation just in general. Uh, then he's got this first skill. Decreases current HP of the enemy with the best HP status. Uh, boss excluded by 10% and attacks the enemy target to inflict damage proportion to the amount of reduced HP. This is, I mean, it's whatever. It's not really anything crazy unless you're talking about, like, dungeons, right? Because in some dungeons, this absorbs damage from one of the towers and does damage to the, um, well, boss. Ex That's why it says boss excluded, right? Because this used to be a thing and they patched it. But it would absorb, like, a crazy amount of damage from one of the towers, hit the boss for, like, obscene damage, and just, like, nuke. And there were people using these... I don't remember which demon it was specifically, but they were using one of these demons in some of the dungeons, and they were getting, like, some of the best, like, the best times on the leaderboard by using uh, using him for his... I don't remember which, which, which exact dungeon it was. But anyway, let's not talk too much about the Sword of Destruction. It's really not anything crazy uh, anymore, aside from that crazy gimmick that was nerfed, right? Uh, Devil's Bargain absorbs all other allies' HP by 10%, so steals HP from your uh, from your team, attacks all enemies dealing damage from portion to the absorbed HP, recovers the attack bar of all allies by 20% afterwards. So, we can think about this in two ways. We can think about it this as like a, like just a tanky bruiser that just is there for his passive, and bring him in for a two, uh, turn two team of like HP leader skill, and like for arena like a turn two you click auto and you just you auto the team and you can survive some damage and you got like a molly and a feng and stuff like that and you don't really take too much damage and you eventually just whittle up or whittle down some of these like pernas and samoths and things like that and just like auto right as a bruiser auto kind of thing with that 44 percent uh, hp lead also we can think about this in another way we're gonna try both teams we're gonna try both ways um we can think about this another way, is using him very, very fast as an attack bar booster, like a Kabila or a Bernard or something like that. The unfortunate downside is that he doesn't have, I mean, he can't be perfect, right? He can't be perfect. So one of the downsides is he has 103 speed. When he's awakened, he's gonna have 104 speed. Everything gains one speed when they're awakened. So he's not too fast. So we're gonna have to make up for that in runes, but we're gonna do him, yeah, there we go. We're gonna do him for speed crit damage attack. Yeah, I think we'll do speed crit damage attack for arena offense, and we'll see if that, first I wanna see if that like 300 speed kind of thing works well. He's got 714 attack. He has 11, 535. I mean like his stats are basically, he's like a well-rounded kind of thing. It's not like anything, it's not like Chow base HP where it's like 13,000 or like some like, some of the Phoenixes have like crazy high attack power. He's kind of more well-rounded than not like, super good in any in any one direction he's kind of like a well how many times you guys say well-rounded bagel he's a well-rounded monster he's like a he's like a donut or or a bagel all ruined up we have him 302 speed as a fast bruiser i actually wanted to put more attack power on him and try to see how much damage his skill to it's not skilled up anyway it doesn't get any extra attack gauge uh increase after it's skilled up so it really doesn't matter for for a turn one attack bar boost unit it really doesn't matter too much if it's skilled up the the actual damage output is nice though actually you know what now that i think about it i disagree with myself because that's a lot of extra damage output that's going to be a nice fluff damage for lucian so we just want three turns too yeah it really does make a difference to be skilled up 
I just went for it. I, I just went for it. I just completely, completely maxed his skills. Hey guys, you know, you know what we used to max his skills? We used, we used devil wands. Okay, 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 okay. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for the dad joke. I'm sorry, but <laughs> I had to. I'm sorry, okay. Uh, like I said, we completely maxed his skills. He is at 302 speed. Let's see how he does in this team. He's going to boost the attack. Age economy is going to move next completely. Well, actually, I think some moth moves before economy. Yeah. He's going to completely uh, increase the attack, the attack gauge of Lucian. So let's see. Does one of these. Does one of these. We'll do one of these. And then nothing comes back. Right? Well, Perna <laughs> Perna's got to do. Right. There we go. There we go. But nothing comes back. I already love him. One match. One match. I already love him. I already, I already love this monster. Another nice team we can hit with this. Let's go. 302 speed on this. Wait, wait, wait. Who are, who are the enemies? I guess, you know what? I guess that does make grammatic sense. Let's see. We got some glancing hits. Okay. That's to be expected. We got one of these. We increased the cooldown on Samoth, so Samoth wouldn't revive anyway, but... Let's do one of these, and then the Dryad is not going to revive either. Nothing revives, and we're set, man. We are set! That's nice. That's really nice. And then it takes 25 minutes to kill Molly until we get a heal block on her. Yeah, there we go. Here's another team we can use him against, Nagong Defenses. So, uh, he's going to be so nice against Nagong Defenses, because he basically makes Nagong's third skill Completely irrelevant. I'm sorry, Nagong owners. I know you're sitting there. You're like, Nagong doesn't really isn't really for everything already. But it's good that you're making him irrelevant, Bagel. That's fantastic. I feel so good about that. Uh, he doesn't really do anything to the Triana though. And then the uh, Miho and the Molly kind of can potentially cancel each other out if we glance. If we do some crits on the the Miho and then the third one lands a glancing hit on the Miho, it kills, winds up killing the Miho, so that could work in our favor, actually. These two Lucians are faster Lucians, they do less damage, so they're not going to do any crazy amounts of damage, but we have, uh, yeah, but we don't have a speed lead, so we're going to do that. But it, as you see, they are faster than, uh, they are faster than the fat one. Right, so let's see. Let's do some of these, and she's going to take some revenges, and then we'll do some of these. Hopefully, that does what we need it to do. And then Miho's gonna do Miho things. Hold on. Yep, and then we do one of these. That worked so smoothly. Here's another one we can definitely hit. Here's the thing, guys. If your arena defense looks like this with something like a 24 speed lead, uh, or maybe even less, and a 96 base speed Tiana, that is not fast enough to outspeed anything, really. I mean, if you're taking a 33 speed lead for offense and a Bernard, even with worse runes, that's still going to outspeed and you're still going to be able to easily Lucian. And this all gets Lucianed very, very easily. So these together, there's not that's not fast enough to be any threat. So even even a 33 lead in a Tiana is still, is still too slow. So just FYI, food for thought. That's not what F, for your information food for thought, whatever, uh, this defense is not going to be, this is just going to get farmed like crazy in Russia. Like, in rush hour, in midweek, if people want to just Lucian you, they're just going to do that. Anyway, that's, that's besides the point. I just wanted to mention that for this is just Perna's not going to come back from the dead, so we'll hit it anyway, right? But even with a, uh, even with a Mephisto, I was going to say Lucifer again, even with a Mephisto, we are still going to outspeed because that's still 8 speed fast than Tiana. And we have a better leader skill. So there's another Perna not coming back from the dead. Here's another one we can definitely hit because, again, the Mephisto already counters the Samoth and the Perna revives. And we should easily be able to Lucian this Praha. If we fat Lucian her, Nemesis is never going to proc, right? So we do one of those. Wait, what? Oh, she, re she revenged. I was like, what? What happened there? So, increase attack bar, but not quite enough to proc her, uh, to, to give her an extra turn, to overfill her attack bar and give her an extra turn. So, does not revive, and then Praha just does, well, we reset with the Samoth, apparently, so. I didn't even notice that we did that. But yeah, that's beautiful. This one is interesting. We have two fire units here, which Lucian's, of course, going to glance on a lot, I'm sure. Uh, Ganymede is going to die pretty quickly. Tyrannus is going to die pretty quickly. They're not going to revive. Uh, so we only really have to deal with the... Unless it's a swift Ganymede. 
People do swift ganmeads in teams like this. I've seen that happen where people have the strippers and they're like, oh, by the way, it's a swift ganymede. So it's like the 320 speed swift ganymede. So that could be the case. We'll see. But yeah, ganymede Tyrannus is going to go down easily. And then we just have to worry about the Vanessa Juno, which is see how long it takes to deal with Vanessa Juno. So that was a fast guy. He's not the, well, that's fast everything because the Juno is fast too. So let's do some of these. Let's do some of these. And let's do... And now everything's just gonna die, right? Yep, there we go. And then we just have to slow... Well, no, I guess not slowly whittle away this Juno. Okay. The best thing to take into this specific defense, since they really don't have any strip, they're fast, but there's no strip, is like Alicia or a Beth or something like that. Especially Alicia, because things die, Alicia gets another turn. She's gonna be able to do her skill too. Basically wipe everything just on shield will tanky enough to survive one blast from the enemies and Orion's, only, Orion's gonna randomly strip one thing here and there with the uh, with the skill three it's probably not going to interrupt too much from the team so that's the thing that I would like to use the most on this however we are doing a Mephisto video so we're not gonna do that one but just FY that's the that's how to beat this defense that's the best way to beat this defense so we'll see Orion 106 base speed Mephisto 104 base speed who is faster so we figured out who's faster does Orion cut? Orion could cut. We'll find out. Oh! Orion's not the one that cuts! <laughs> no, Orion did cut! Orion- <clears throat> I don't even know what's happening anymore, so Orion did cut. Which means we need our Konamiya to be faster. Actually, it means we need our Samoth to be faster. What do you mean? We need everything to be faster, whatever. Just make everything faster! That's, that's the way to beat everything in Summoner's War. Just make everything faster. Yeah. So, uh, Lucian dies now. Does not come back, of course. There we go. Let's do one of these, and let's do one of these. And now we just get to see uh, Miho. So, oh, right, 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 right. See, that's one of the that's one of the downsides. That's one of the downsides to this is it works both ways. It works both ways. Do we crit or nice? No crit. So Samoth did not revive. So again. The same thing we're doing to them is not just for the enemy team, it's for your team as well. So we didn't even get the benefit of Samoth coming back from the dead for ourselves. All right, guys, there you have it. Mephisto, the Wind Demon. I was going to do a Bruiser team. Maybe we'll save that for a different video using him in a Bruiser style. It's not very fun gameplay because it's like just you click auto and then that's 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 the situation for that one. So he's pretty fun on a, um, on a very, very fast build for increasing your allies attack bar and also dealing with the Tyrannus, Vanessa, Samoth, Perna. Not bad. Anyway, that's it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you as always in the next one.